Hello guys and welcome back to Leslie Low Collectibles and welcome back to a brand new video. And in this video we have a double build, two Dinky Toys Mini Clubmen on the turntable. And uh, I'm going to restore these two in this video. So let's take a look uh, of these um, minis. These are Dinky Toys Mini Clubmen made in England. I think both are the same. Um, I'm not going to show you both, but I will do both. I think I'm going to choose different colors. And I will show you at the end both of them, but the process will be only one. So um, they have screws, so I don't need to drill these. So I'm going to take these apart and uh, I will show you what's inside. So let's see. I will clean this screw as well because that's a bit dirty so that should just come up there is a pin in there which goes to that area looks like uh, the tires the wheels are on the base so I will clean the bases and leave the tires on uh, that's the interior very simple I think that uh, there is a little detail on the dashboard. No, maybe I can't see it properly, but I think, yeah, I can see all the meters. Um, the doors coming out easy. They sit in that hole. And the windscreen is not glued in or riveted in. So they will be okay to put back and this is the body itself clubman uh, not too bad we got some good details so I will take the other apart as well and I will put them into the paint stripper I will clean this one um, I will remove the um, rust I think I'm gonna put this into some cleaner solution and uh, these will go into the paint stripper. I'm cleaning the windscreens were not too bad in this one, in these two. They're pretty good. Just a little bit uh, wet sanding and uh, put putting them into the floor polish. Um, they came nice and uh, there were no scratches, no cracks. So pretty easy this time. As you can see, I uh, just dipped it in. I take all the excess um, polish from the windscreen and put them into the box with the lid so they're not going to get dusty and they can dry and get very shiny as you can see both of them are done. Um, this is the um, section where I show you what I do with the base. That's the original on the left. And what I do is I have two rivet um, axles and as you can see if I just put the um, hubs on they're too short um, so that that would look silly I think if the wheels are too um, deep in so what I've done is I find some uh, small washers and I will put them on the axle and they they thick enough to hold uh, the hub out and they don't look too ridiculous i would say so you can see that's enough that's thick enough to to hold them out so i will cut them half and i will glue them to the base and in this case you see i'll cut them half and i will glue them there using super glue and I will paint them and they will be almost invisible not really but you won't be able to see them too much because the hub will be there <coughs> so that's how it's gonna be and I will put the other one on the top just to show you how this is gonna look and uh, the axle will go 
So that will look like that. Ah, one fell off, but it's okay. So I glue one already and I will do another one.
so we are nearly finished uh, just before the assembly so let's take a closer look what we've done so we got the bases this one has got the original wheel and uh, i changed the other one to um, these corgi wheels and i've done the details on them as well so that's one pair um i've got the um interiors one i three sprayed one i kept black so they are done the windscreens are refurbished they were not too bad anyway but i redone them as well so they are done doors are there they finished and this is one of the um clubmans with the details and uh, this is the other one so what i need to do now i need to put them uh, put them um, together so um yes i will start with the orange i think so i'll put one windscreen in let me see if i need to just reshine the windscreens a little bit before i put them in okay because i don't want to touch them too much so that's in and i think i have to put the doors in first so this one comes here and i will close them because when i put the interior in uh, they will hold the door so this one will have the um, black one uh, maybe i think i have to put the interior first let's see so the windscreen is yeah i think i have to put them in like this um, this one comes here and uh, the other one on the other side sorry if you don't see anything really and uh, this one has got the black tires and i will put the put the screw in which i have them here but yeah, I have the um, screwdriver as well. The doors are quite loose on these models anyway. So that's one. And I will do the other one as well and I'll put them on the turntable. Uh, so um, I hope you like the cars on the turntable. I, I'm, I'm very happy with these two. I think they look fantastic and uh, they look a lot better than before. Um, this one, I had to put some uh, blue tack um, where the door goes because the doors were loose and they were actually hanging out. So I took this apart again and I put um, some blue tack where the pins of the doors go in. And now look, they stay, they don't move anymore. Um, and this one actually is less heavy than this one now because I've got I've got these um, tires from uh, and wheels from uh, a corgi, and so this feels heavier now than this one. This is more uh, because the wheels are plastic. They are all fantastic. So I'm really really happy uh, with these two. Let me take the. Um, camera off the um, stand and I'll show you from the front as well. So I think they look really good and I'm really happy with these two. So if you enjoyed this video guys please give me a thumbs up. Also subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet 
and please leave comments down below what do you think of this restoration um so have a good uh, weekend guys have a nice friday today and uh, see you next friday with a new video um the t-shirt still available if you want please email me and uh, we'll sort something out for you so cheers guys thank you very much and bye bye